Hazer Group Limited, that's HZR, is an ASX-listed technology development company undertaking the commercialisation of the Hazer process, which is a low-emission hydrogen and graphite production process developed by researchers at the University of Western Australia. To unpack the Hazer Group story, today I'm joined by company CEO, Mr Jeff Ward. Welcome, Jeff. Thanks, Will. Jeff, so let's uh, do what we said we'd do and uh, unpack the Hazer story. Okay, so Will, as you mentioned, Hazer is a very low-emission production method for making hydrogen and graphite. And in our technology, we take methane as a feedstock. It can be natural gas, but we prefer the use of biogas, a renewable resource. And we use iron oxide as a process catalyst to produce hydrogen and graphite. And this is quite a novel uh, step and a novel breakthrough in that rather than producing a large amount of CO2 as a waste, which is typically uh, produced in the current production method for hydrogen, Instead, we produce a valuable byproduct, graphite. So we think this technology has enormous uh, forward potential, both as being a very low CO2 emission. In fact, it offers carbon abatement potential. It produces hydrogen and graphite, both valuable products, and it has no associated CO2 emissions in the production process. So, Jeff, let's just remind listeners just what the value of hydrogen and graphite is today in, in terms of real-world applications. Well, hydrogen and graphite are both materials which are very uh, critical to the modern 21st century economy and particularly to the emerging potential hydrogen economy, which is such a focus of countries such as Japan, parts of Europe, California, etc. So hydrogen can be used as a way of storing and transporting renewable energy. It can be a way used as a way of making renewable-based uh, heat and power without CO2 emissions. It can be used as a direct replacement for diesel and transport as a transport fuel in trains, trucks, buses and ferries. It can be a way of storing renewable energy and providing buffering and resilient services to grid, something we hear a lot about at the moment. The hydrogen has long been seen as the key component that will allow renewable energy, which is coming down in cost very rapidly, to be used effectively to support a reliable industrial grid. Graphite is uh, important. Uh, you know, to the evolving world of electric vehicles and batteries. So both hydrogen and graphite are key materials uh, for the future electrification of transport, decarbonisation of industry, um, and further move to an efficient 21st century power system. So in terms of bringing the Hazer technology to market, you, you have to argue that you timed it very well. Well, certainly the hydrogen uh, economy and the move towards an interest in hydrogen technologies is picking up very rapidly. Two or three years ago, it was very much seen as a future uh, development that was well off. Now we're seeing rapid deployment of commercial projects in uh, Europe, Japan and, and other locations and the development of national hydrogen strategies in 19 different countries. And we're now seeing that uh, within the next sort of five to seven years, there's expected to be a major uptake um, of hydrogen in the power sector, in heating um, and in transport. So, Jeff, what does that mean in terms of how you plug in your process into those existing projects or, or those future projects, as it may be? Well, the Hazard technology is going through the commercial proving and scale-up uh, phase as we speak. So, through 2018 and into 2019, we uh, executed a very successful pilot program. So, the technology had been through initial primary research, had progressed through bench-scale work at the University of Sydney after the initial work at the University of Western Australia. And then through 2018, the company built and operated a pilot plant to prove the scaling up potential of the technology. We're now seeking to do a commercial demonstration of the technology, and we're very pleased to have completed an MOU, a Memorandum of Understanding, with the Water Corporation, uh, the government-owned entity in Western Australia responsible for providing water and sewage services uh, to the city of Perth. And we're going to work with them to treat biogas gas that is generated through their treatment of waste um, in their wastewater treatment plant at Woodman Point and to uh, convert that into hydrogen and graphite as the first large commercial scale demonstration of our technology. So Jeff, just talk me through the use case. Obviously there's an enormous benefit to the customer, in this case the Water Corporation. No doubt there's significant cost benefits to them in terms of application of your process and potentially recycling some of the materials here for other purposes. Well, we think this is a great example of you know, adding value to waste, so waste to resources as, as it's termed, or waste to energy. So currently, uh, major wastewater facilities, major landfills generate biogas, and that gas is typically trapped and then used to generate power. Um, 
we think turning into hydrogen and graphite offers a higher value alternative. So it's of natural interest to the um, operators, owners and, and holders of, of those types of biogas resources. It's also an example of how to you know, maximise the, the value of waste to resource and waste to energy in a local economy. That We believe by using it to generate hydrogen, then we have a hydrogen source that's available for future transport projects. Um, and we hope that we'll be able to attract a transport user now that there is a viable source of clean hydrogen in the area to show the demonstrate the capacity to use it in bus fleets, uh, transport fleets or, or similar applications. So this points to a, a really good long-term opportunity where we maximise the value from waste. Um, it's about domestically and locally created energy and it's about providing uh, clean, low-emission fuels in the local area. Jeff, when you look at it um, uh, locally, domestically and internationally, what do you think the top-line number is for, I guess, the addressable market for your process? Uh, well, that's a, yeah, the top-line number is a very, very large number. You know, the, the use of hydrogen has been identified as uh, essential to the long-term uh, transition uh, to a highly efficient and low-cost uh, energy system based on renewable resources. So uh, long-term, it's anticipated that hydrogen will play a very significant role in transitioning diesel fuels uh, onto, uh, onto an electric uh, platform. And so already we're seeing... Uh, opportunities such as diesel trains in Germany being replaced by hydrogen fuel cell trains. Uh, we have operating bus fleets uh, in London, uh, in Japan, in Korea, which are using hydrogen as a fuel in place of, of diesel. So if you think of the current size of the market uh, for the diesel fuel um, and for you know, power from uh, high carbon sources, there's a potentially a very large market. Hydrogen will play a large part in filling. So, Jeff, based on the Hazer process, you also have a collaboration with Mineral Resources on the development of a graphite production facility. Can you give us an update on how that is progressing? Sure. Well, so with Mineral Resources, uh, we have an agreement where Mineral Resources are developing a synthetic graphite production facility based on the Hazer process. It'll be owned and operated by Mineral Resources under a licence from Hazer. And that's a three-stage process with the first stage, the completion of a pilot plant to test a reactor design called a paddle tube reactor. Um, we'd like to congratulate Mineral Resources on successfully uh, operating that pilot uh, during the last quarter and producing some very high quality graphite in excess of 95% purity. So we look forward to working with them now uh, to assess the results of that pilot test um, and to work with them on moving into stage two and stage three of our collaboration agreement. Fantastic, Jeff. Such an exciting time to be working, as you say, with and around a product and a process that uh, is fueling and powering the 21st century economy. Right, thank you very much, Will. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been speaking with Mr. Jeff Ward, who is the CEO of Hazer Group. That's ASX HZ.